Hey, it's Aaron Stowe with WFG National Title. Just giving you a quick tip on how to create an ad with an audience, um, but more importantly, to exclude people from that audience. So for example, if you are a realtor and you don't want other real estate brokers seeing your ad, there are ways to do that. So we're gonna start out by saying create ad here because we are in the Facebook Ads Manager. So just click on the top right. We're gonna figure out where we're gonna send people for our ad. So traditionally, we're going to send people to a website. So depending on what it is you're trying to put out there, um, usually you wanna use Facebook as a driver to capture them onto your website, either search or an open house or an event, something like that. I'm just going to use my little Aaron's Two Cents page as a demonstration here. So when we get into the audience, um, there are a bunch of things that we can do. So first of all, um, if you start here, obviously you can do location. If you wanna do age ranges, you can do that. So we'll just say Portland. We'll say Portland, Oregon. And then it by default makes it big. So we're gonna say, we don't wanna go within 25 miles. We want people just in the city. And then if you notice here, like when I click on this, you can also include or exclude. So I could say exclude and this won't really make sense, but we'll say Tigard because people from Tigard shouldn't see this ad for whatever reason. So we're going to say, all right, include Portland, exclude Tigard. Um, then when we get down to detailed targeting down here, you can say exclude people. And what I want to do is I want to say real estate broker. So I'm going to get rid of real estate broker. So anybody that's listed real estate broker as somebody or as their job, that will get rid of that. Um, so once again, so you've got the include and the exclude. So if there are other people that you want to exclude, you can do that too, but we'll just start with real estate brokers. Uh, go down here, figure out where we want to put it. So we want it in the news feed. We'll want this one on Instagram. We don't want it in the audience network. Um, and we'll say we don't want it on the right side. So we pick our budget. We'll say $5 per day. Um, and I always like to do schedule start and end date. Uh, so we'll say start today, and we don't want it to go for 30 days, though. That's kind of their default. So we're going to say we want this one to go through Sunday at 7 p.m. instead of 7 a.m. You put that stuff in there. I usually leave all of this stuff alone. Um, you can change that up if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and say continue. Um, and at this point, all you need to do is build out your ad. So um, I like the single image or video. You can do multiples um, kind of as a preference thing. If you have an image of whatever it is you're trying to advertise, you can do that. Otherwise, you can go right here and say uh, stock images. So let's just say, I don't know, let's do the Sydney Opera House. Why not? So I'll click on that and say done. That'll now be part of my ad. And so if we come down here, you can see what the ad's actually going to look like. And if I want to change anything right here, so like this Aaron's Two Cents part, that's right here in this text. So I can just be like, Sydney, say whatever you want. Um, if you scroll down a little bit on my screen, you can see this part is this. So I can say, come join me, whatever you want to say. Or if I'm trying to sell it, let's buy this house. And then once again, you just decide what you want to look like. You can say, okay, this is what it'll look like in the mobile news feed. This is what it'll look like on Instagram. So you can basically choose and see um, and update all that stuff. Everything on the left goes over to the right. So the right is what it'll look like. The left is where you edit. But after that, I just hit place order and you're ready to go.